Hello viewers, this is Dikshit Kumar. So we're gonna solve this problem using ANSYS. So you can see a bar of tapered cross section area. The area 1 is 1000 mm square. Area 2 is 500 mm square. The Young's modulus is 2 into 10 to the power of 5 Newton per mm square. So the taper bar is modified into two element. So after calculating the mean area, so area 1 will be 875 mm square and area 2 will be 625 mm square. So the length of first element is 187.5 and second element is 187.5, force of 1000 Newton is acting. So let us check the theoretical solution here. So the deformation at node 1 is 0, at node 2 is 1.0714 into 10 to the power of minus 3 mm. At node 3, it is 2.5714 into 10 to the power of minus 3 mm. Stress for element 1 will be 1.1429 Newton per mm square. For element 2, it is 1.6 Newton per mm square. And reaction at node 1 is minus 1000 Newton. So let us begin. Go to preferences. Select structural. OK. Go to preprocessor. Element type. Add. Add. Select link. Select 3D finite ST and 180. OK. Then close. Go to real constants. Add. Click on add. OK. So you can note down here real constant set number 1. So the area is 875 mm square. Click on OK. Now again, you have to click add here and say OK. So the real constant set number 2, the area is 625 mm square. Click on OK. Close. Now go to material properties, material models, select structural, linear, elastic, isotropic, select set the Young's modulus here. It is 2 into 10 to the power of 5, 2 e5 Newton per mm square. Click on OK. The Poisson's ratio will be 0. Close. Go to modeling. Create nodes in active CS. So apply the first node will be created for the second node. Set the x distance as 187.5 mm. Apply for the third node. Set the x distance as 375 mm. Click on OK. So you can note down here the three nodes are created. Click on elements, auto numbered through nodes. Now pick 1 and 2. OK. Now go to element attributes. And here you have to change the real constant set number as 2. Click on OK. Now go to auto numbered through nodes. Now pick 2 and 3. OK. Now the element is being created. Now go to solution. Their defined loads. Apply. Structural. Displacement. On nodes. Pick node number 1. Apply. DOF to be constrained. All DOF. OK. Now select force. On nodes, pick node number 3, apply, direction of force is fx and force value is 1000 Newton, click on OK. Now go to solve, current LS, OK, solution is done, close close now go to general post processor their element table define table 
you have to add so results data item go to the last by sequence num select ls and make it as ls comma 1 click on ok close now you have to list the results so go to list results the first is nodal solution that is deformation so d of solution displacement vector sum click on ok so you can note note down the deformation at node 1, node 2 and node 3. Close. Now go to element table data. So select LS1 and OK. So you can note down here the stress set element 1 it is 1.1429 and element 2 is 1.6 Newton per mm square. Close. At last reaction solution all item ok so the reaction at node 1 is minus 1000 newton so we will compare here using a tabular column the first is theoretical and second is ANSYS so you can note down the deformation values you can note down the stress values and you can note down the reaction values that's it so solution is done here we have compared the analytical and answers thank you for watching